Good morning. It is our pleasure today to have Mr. Benoit Lemay, CEO from Active Insight, to share with us his insights in brain health and also his research on memophenol and award-winning ingredients on its benefits. Could you share with us the story behind memophenol research? Hello, Hemi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Okay. Thank you for the interview. Maybe you know that uh, recently there is uh, several epidemiological studies showing a link between what we are eating every day and uh, the consequence of that on our brain and especially the uh, cognitive decline. So basically, uh, more you are eating fruits and veggies, less you will have consequences on your brain and your memory. And, and the reason of that is very precise molecules that we call polyphenols. Active Insight actually was also doing an epidemiological study to have a confirmation of that. And the problem is that, okay, it's good, fruits and veggies, but there is more than 8,000 different polyphenols in the world. So which one is good for your memory and which uh, concentration you need to expect to see an impact directly? Another point very important is that more than 70% of the US and European population, as well more than 60% of the Asian population, is not eating enough fruits and veggies every day. So definitely, we need to find a solution for that. So that's why we was working with uh, some French authorities to launch a study for 12 years and on more than 1,000 people to check every day what kind of fruit and veggies they was eating and the consequence on the memory. And uh, we discover that we need essential polyphenols for cognitive decline prevention. And you know, essential, you know, amino acid, essential amino acid, essential vitamins, essential minerals. This is the molecules our body is not producing, but we need that. So you need to take that from the food. And polyphenols is exactly the same. We need polyphenols and we don't produce polyphenols. So the question is again, what kind of polyphenols we need for our brain. And this is why we was launching at the early beginning of creating Active Insight. We invest about 4 million of euros for a four years R&D international program with different French and Canadian authorities to understand more precisely, more deeply, the different uh, um, polyphenols that we need and the concentration. So to do that, the project was first to make the uh, identification of this essential polyphenol. Which one is the best for our memory? Second question, where can we find these polyphenols? And precisely, we need safety also and economical sources. So it's not that easy. Number three is to find the good concentration in the formulation with this polyphenol. We are talking about the memory, so we need, and memory is in the brain, of course, so we need to be sure about the bioavailability. Some polyphenols are very big, they cannot go in the brain. So we wanted to check absolutely the bioavailability in the brain, and that's not easy to do, as you can imagine. Number five is to understand the mechanisms in the brain of the essential polyphenol. So we need to know how it works. And finally, when, when you know how it works and the bioavailability, you can expect to make the last step, it's clinical studies on human. We have here two models. Uh, the first model is the seniors. Um, seniors, they already lost the memory a little bit and they would like to come back to the memory they had in the past. And the second completely different target is the students or what we can call also the young adult. And they are not supposed to have memory problem, of course, but they want to go faster. They want to have more concentration, not only the memory. So it's a little bit different. This is why we decided to test the memophenol on two different targets. So yes, definitively, we have a full package of science to understand exactly uh, what happened in the brain when you are eating memophenol. And we produce today with memophenol the only formulation with essential polyphenols that are good for your brain. So it's not a question to change your diet, but to give you more polyphenols at the good concentration to be sure 
that you can prevent the cognitive decline or boost your memory if you need. Thank you, Mr. Benoit, for your sharing. Next, we'd like to know what causes forgetfulness as we age. This is the brain, as you can see here. There is several things that will influence the memory and the cognitive decline. Some of the things that we cannot do anything and other things we can act directly. For example, the aging process, of course, <laughs> unfortunately, we cannot do anything on that point. The genetic reasons is important, but again, nothing we can uh, really do. The stress is something really important. You know that if you have a lot of stress, your memory is not working well. But here it's an indirect consequence on memory. Memophenol is more working on the direct action on memory. And then we go to the da daily life. What you eat, what you drink, uh, are you making exercise, are you smokers, all those things. Again, there is no many things we can do on that. It's more your own responsibility. But there is something that today influence directly the memory. It's the nutrition. What we are eating is directly impacting in the future also the memory. And this is the reason why we decided to develop a nutritional solution for memory. So the main reasons, aging and genetics, um, but nothing we can do on that. Uh, we can act on the daily habits and help people with a good product that is rich in essential polyphenols. Okay, the next question is, if someone constantly lives in a stressful condition, uh, what could happen to the brain? In fact, it's very difficult. What, what we know is depend, of course, of the level of stress you have and your sensitivity to the stress in your brain. Basically, your brain stops to record the information. You can see that with acute stress as well the chronic stress. Acute stress means you have suddenly a very high level of stress. For example, like accident crash. Well, clearly you lose the memory of what happened few seconds before. But that's a that's very uh, big problem. In the chronic stress, the stress you have every day for a long term, it's exactly the same mechanism. Your brain needs to take some rest, I will say, and it stops completely to take the information. And the only way to work is to boost a little bit your brain or, and together, I will say, to have an action on stress. So stress is really important in the management of memory, but it's not the only reason to have uh, memory issues. So it's working together. Again, you, you need to work on both aspects to improve your memory every day. Another point really important when you are talking about memory and stress is the mechanism called the uh, neurogenesis. So neurogenesis is simply the production of new neurons as well the connection, what we call the synapse, between the different neurons. And as you probably know, the neurons are not touching each other, so they, they need to give the information to the other one through the synapse. And so the synapse and the neurons itself are very important in the memory and the brain system. Uh, what we know from stress is that the connection, the synapse and globally speaking, the neurogenesis process is affected by the stress. So clearly it means that you have less and less connection, clearly depending on your stress condition. So a good way as well to improve your memory is to recreate it, this connection that you lose from stress and uh, polyphenols from uh, memophenol can help on that. Polyphenols are very well known to have an action on oxidation, of course, and globally speaking, on the stress. So that's another way of mechanism we can expect from memophenol if you have stress from your daily life. Thank you. It is great to know that we can actually take the nutrients like polyphenols, like as in memophenol, to improve neurogenesis and therefore our brain function. Okay, and the next question here. One of the key ingredients in Improgen is memophenol. What are the benefits of memophenol? Okay, so after four years of research, I can be sure to explain because we publish everything is first the global mechanism of action in the brain. 
So before that, we uh, just uh, checking to be sure about the bioavailability in the brain. At the concentration that we are supposed to see the molecules from memophenol, the essential polyphenols in the brain, we did several mechanism hypotheses. And what we get from that is that we impact directly with memophenol the neurogenesis processes. So we improve clearly by almost 20%, which is significant effect, the, what we call the major neurons. So it's not the creation of new neurons. We don't need memophenol for that, but we need to create the synapse, the connection between the major neurons in order to improve the communication, the quantity of information you can give in the same time. That's the first mechanism. The second one is also very important. We call that the synaptic plasticity. And basically, you can see here that there is a no direct connection between the two synapses. So the two synapses are the, the end of the termination of the neurons. And this is the place you are giving or receiving the information. And this information is a protein's production. And we improve that by more than 10%. So basically what it means, you have through the neurogenesis more information that you can give in the same time. And this information is with higher speed because you have more proteins in the same time. So you are working on the quantity and the quality. The consequence of that is clearly to see that, for example, on adult seniors, and we have two different kinds of memories, as you probably know. We have what we call the short-term memory. The short-term memory is what you keep in your mind for a few seconds or no more than one minute. For example, you put your phone on the table, where is my phone, where, where is my keys, and this kind of thing. So you are working with this memory all the time. We improve this memory by 60% on seniors having memory troubles. So after only six months of duration, the treatment, they improve the short-term memory by 60%. The long-term memory is the memory we need to remember, for example, what did you eat three days ago for dinner? And you need to remember that, you need to make an effort. It's also the memory you are using for any kind of souvenirs. And we lose this memory as well, the uh, short-term memory with the time. So here, what we prove with memophenol is that after six months, you are going back to the memory capacity you had 10 years before. How can we prove that? Actually, it's very well known the level of memory you have according your brain theoretical age. We have a biological age that we know we can see that on our ID, but the brain have a different age. We call that the theoretical brain age. We can make the mesuration. So basically, according the score you have from different tests, we can calculate the theoretical brain age. For example, I'm 55, but maybe my brain is 45 or maybe 65. The reason of that, it's again, genetic reason or simply coming from the way you are using or not your memory. So we tested the people before the study and of course with the placebo and the active group using memophenol. And six months after, we can see that the people that was the most affected by memory troubles was going back 10 years ago. So that's why I can wrote that you are going back 10 years of memory like you was 10 years younger. Of course, you are not younger, but your memory theoretical age is 10 years younger. So clearly you have more memory and you go faster. On students, we did another clinical study, but here, Normally, the, a good student don't have any memory problem, of course. So we are more looking for concentration, attention, and how they are using the memory in very, very acute way. So we are talking, for example, to make mental calculation very quickly. In this condition, the student improve the memory, the concentration, the attention, what we call the cognitive performances by more than 30 percent and when you ask at the same student after the study if they feel something if they can see that in the calculation they are doing they say yes with exactly the same ratio so that's important because of course if you need long months to have a recovery of your memory we can understand that but sometimes you need to use your memory faster 
And that's why at the same dose, 600 milligrams, you can expect to see and to feel a result directly on the cognitive performances. So memophenol is working on memory, but this is more for long-term uh, prevention. And it's also working directly on your cognitive performance on an acute way in one taking of 600 milligrams. It is great to know that um, with the right nutrients, it is possible to help our brain to form new cells and improve its functions. Since memophenol is extracted from French grapes and wild blueberries, will I get the same benefits if I just consume the normal grapes and wild blueberries regularly? Okay, um, yes and no. <laughs> yes, I, I will explain. And you see, this is the calculation and the ratio we are using for memophenol. So memophenol is a blend, so you're completely right, between French grapes and Canadian blueberries. We selected particularly varieties of grapes and blueberries, but whatever you are taking, you need 72 grams of blueberries and more than 680 grams of grapes. So this is possible to eat that every day. It's, we are not talking about kilos, of course, but imagine you need to take every single day about 700 grams of blueberries and grapes together, it makes the life completely difficult. The interest of memophenol, it's that memophenol is simply a dry concentrate of the essential polyphenols you need. So we remove the water, we remove the fibers, we remove the sugar, uh, we keep only the essential polyphenols and that's why you need only 600 milligrams. So yes, you can have the same effect if you are eating about 700 grams of fruit, but this is not easy to do every day. And again, you don't know exactly the polyphenols you are eating. Of course, in memophenol, we are checking precisely the concentration and the different kind of polyphenols you need for your brain. Thank you, Mr. Benoit, for making polyphenol supplementation simple for us now. What will be your top three tips for improving learning ability or memory? Uh, there is the simple things you can do. The first, I will say, is to make exercise. It's a clear a link between uh, physical exercise and memory. So, of course, you need to do that every day, but that's a good way to do it. Second is to work on your daily life. It uh, can be nutrition, it can be uh, your stress. But I think in this case, you need help sometimes to see faster results. But this is something you can do on a daily basis as well. Finally, I will say games, play games, because you will uh, just use your memory, your brain, and that's so fun to do. So that's the best way, I think, is to play. There is nothing we can do for the cognitive decline. We lose every day after the age of 30. Of course, it's very, very slow at the beginning. And after 65, 70 years old, you start to see the consequence of that. So that's why nutrition, I will say, is the best way you can do every day. And it's easy. It's easy to do, especially with memophenol. You don't need to eat big quantities. Thank you. And one last question for the day. Would you recommend memophenol for students preparing for exam and why? Definitely, yes, of course. There is 20% of the students in the world that are already using something, drugs, whatever, to boost the memory and the cognitive performances. So the question is not if they can do that or not, they are already doing that due to the stress and to be pushed to have good results at the examinations. The, the point is more to have something natural without any side effect. The memophenol that you are using in Improgen is exactly concept for the student. And that's why we are doing a clinical study specifically on the student during examination process. So they was using the brain at the highest capacity they have. If you remember, we can see an improvement of the cognitive performance of 30%. So what it means? It means that if you are using memophenol, probably you are using your brain very well. But in the time, after one or two hours, you start to lose your concentration. Uh, you start to lose your capacity of using your memory, not the memory itself. And in this case, memory will be improved, will be boosted by the memophenol. Memophenol is polyphenols, and it's essentially using a little bit like the oil you need in your brain to help you to make the calculation faster. So this is a result of our study, 30% more efficient for your cognitive performances. 
Great. Thank you, Mr. Benoit, for the sharing. Uh, it is nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.